Hey guys, I'm Mahdi Khoui, I'm a digital sculptor. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how I use layers and morph targets in ZBrush to add and control details without permanently changing the sculpt. And I've been using this Hulk model that I made a while ago and never really finished it. So I think it's good for this demo. So let's start with the layers. You can find them in tool and layers here. And for example, I have these layers. Let me solo this. Make the fist using layer, adding the pose and edit the anatomy based on the pose. But let me bake all, we don't need them. And let's create a new layer. Layers basically let you sculpt on top of your model, but you can always turn them on or off later, which is perfect for fine tuning details. So for example, I can use damn standard with low intensity and start adding some details, something like this, or using standard and adding some veins. Something like this, doesn't really matter. Now if I turn the layer off, everything disappears, turn it back on and it's all back. And you can even tone it down or make it stronger using the layer intensity slider. So let's keep it this way. The cool thing is you can use separate layers for different things, one for wrinkles, one for the veins, and one for the pores, so you can tweak them later. Let's record that again. I can add something like this to try and see if it's work or not. Smooth it out again. And then I can compare it to what I had before or tune it down a little bit. Keep it something like this if you want to. The other thing that I use a lot is morph target and they work a little differently. Basically you store your mesh in its current state, make changes, and then you can blend between the two versions. Let me put it on one. And I'm using ARP Curve Brush. Add something like this. And now I can turn the layer off. And this is my default version of this sculpt. So morphs I get, turn it on and go to the record. And now I can either switch between them or use this slider. I'm not using this uh, slider a lot because we have layers, we can use this slider here. But the cool thing uh, about morph target is uh, you can use morph brush. B, M, G. And now you can remove this part or this part here. Or remove it completely and we can keep this vein if you want to. You can use the combination of these two together. Let me delete the morph target and I add this here, doesn't really matter. And let's add another layer and I can work on this part or this part and add another one. Maybe something like this. And for example, I want to reduce this part a little bit. I can easily go here and reduce it or this one or this one. 
and I can turn this layer off and use some morph target. Record again and using morph brush to bring back some of the previous state. Let's say I don't want to keep this one or this one. I just want this line here. Or we can turn this off and use this current state. Delete, store, and record again. And just remove this one. It's really powerful when you want to add details or you're working on something and you're not sure how it's look. You know, you can turn on the layer and use them together and compare them to see how it's look. Here's another cool reason why morph targets are super useful. Let me show you a quick example. Right now I don't have a morph target sword and if I use the chisel brush right here and make this X shape, you can see how the intersection get messy and distorted where the strokes overlap. Let me try that again. Yeah, this is more visible. Let's undo that and store morph target and do the same thing again. And as you can see, the intersections stay clean and sharp, no weird overlapping artifact. And it's super handy for things like scars, hard surface cuts, or fine details. Basically anytime you want a clean, sharp result. That's because Morph Target keeps a copy of the surface, so when you sculpt on top, it handles the overlaps much better. This combo is really powerful for production work or client project where you need flexibility and clean results. And yeah, that's going to be for this one. We went over how to use layers and morph target to sculpt non-destructively and keep your workflow flexible. And yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next one.